children let us continue the chapter circle now let us solve the exercise 1 that is the exercise based on theorem number 1 of tangent and the first question the first question is how many tangent can a circle have a circle can have any number of tangents so you can answer that circle can have infinite number of tangents a circle can have circle can have infinite number of tangents infinite number of tangents next the second question is fill in the blanks a tangent to a circle intersect it in you know that tangent touches the circle at only one point means it intersect the circle in one point or in a point in one point tangent to a circle intersect it in a one point next a line intersecting a circle in two points is called that is secant a line intersecting a circle in two points is called a secant you know here if it is a circle the this is a secant which touches the or which intersect the circle at two points here it is a tangent if you have the rough sketch and tangent touches the circle at only one point next a circle can have dash parallel tangents at the most a circle can have infinite number of parallel tangents infinitely many parallel tangents or infinite number of parallel tangents at the most the common point of a tangent to circle and the circle is called common point of tangent to circle and the circle is called point of contact what it is it is point of contact point of contact it is next the third question a tangent pq at a point p of a circle of radius 5 cm meets a line through the center o at a point q so that oq equals 12 cm length pq is 12 cm 13 cm 8.5 cm and d is root 119 cm here have the rough sketch related to the question O is the center of the circle P is a point on the circle PQ is a tangent at P PQ is a tangent at P it means P is a point of contact what is the length of the radius here OP is the radius its length is 5 cm and also it is given that the center O and the point Q is joined and the length is 12 cm. It means OQ equals 12 cm. And here we have to find the length of PQ. And you know that according to the theorem number 1 of the tangent at a point on the circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact here pq is a tangent p is a point of contact and op is a radius at the point of contact you know that op must be perpendicular to pq op must be perpendicular to pq so here triangle opq is a right angle triangle therefore triangle opq is right angle triangle apply the Pythagoras theorem here therefore you write what is that op square 
plus pq square equals what? oq square. The reason is here Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Now op is given, write it 5 square. pq is to be find out, write it as pq square. oq is given, that is 12 square. Then write here pq square equals 12 square minus 5 square. So pq square equals 12 square is 144 minus 25. 5 square is 25. 12 square is 144. Then pq square equals this sum here you know that 14 minus 5 is 9. 13 is remaining, 3 is remaining, 3 minus 2, 1. So it is 119. Then PQ equals root 119 CM. So here is a answer that is D. What is the answer here? D. The next one is fourth one. Draw a circle and two lines parallel to a given line such that one is a tangent and the other a secant to the circle other a secant to the circle here we have to draw the two lines parallel to the given line one must be a tangent and other must be a secant here the circle line drawn the center o and the given line is lm and here after that we have to draw the two lines parallel to the given line such that one is a tangent and the other a secant. Here two lines are drawn which are parallel to the line LM. They are AB and XY. AB and XY are the two lines and AB is a secant which intersect the circle at P and Q. And xy is a tangent which intersect the circle at P. xy is a tangent which intersect the circle at P. AB is a secant which intersect the circle at two points P and Q. That is the answer for the question number 4. Now let us discuss about the tangents from a point on a circle. The point may be inside the circle or the point may be on the circle or the point may be outside the circle. Let us discuss about the tangents from a point inside a circle and tangent from a point on the circle and tangent from the point outside the circle. See the case 1 here. Is it possible to draw the tangent passing through the point lying inside the circle. You can observe that it is not possible to draw the tangents to a circle passing through a point lying inside the circle. Now in the case 2 you can draw how many tangents to a circle passing through a point lying on the circle. Only one tangent can be drawn to a circle passing through a point lying on the circle. In the third case, here P is an external point. So in the case 3, from the external point P, you can draw two tangents. PA and PB are the two tangents that you can draw from an external point to the circle. So, it is not possible to draw the tangents from the point inside the circle and only one tangent can be drawn through a point lying on the circle and two tangents can be drawn to a circle through a point lying on the lying outside the circle. Lying outside the circle here. This is the three cases. 
so how many tangents can be drawn through a circle from a given external point you can draw two tangents here pa is one tangent and pb is the other tangent you can draw two tangents from the external point or the points which is lying outside the circle that is the three cases that is about the tangents that you can draw from a point to the circle now about the length of the tangent the length of the segment of the tangent from the external point p and the point of contact with the circle is called the length of the tangent from the point p to the circle so here p is a point that is the external point and a is a point of contact which touches the tangent pa at a here P is the external point and A is the point of contact. The distance between P and A, the length of the line PA is called the length of the tangent from the point P to the circle. In this way, to calculate the length of the tangent, we have to find the distance between the external point and the point of contact. That is nothing but the length of the tangent drawn from the external point to the circle. What about the length of the tangents from an external point to a circle? You measure the length of P A and P B. What you can observe here? They are of equal length. Here the length of the tangents drawn from the external point to the circle are of equal length. Here if you measure A P and B P the length is 8 cm and 8 cm. Here length of the tangents from an external point to a circle are equal length. So here PA is equals to PB. PA is equals to PB. PA and PB are the tangents from the external point P and they are equal. So what you can conclude here length of the tangents from an external point to a circle are equal. That is one of the important property of the tangents drawn from the external point to the circle.